What's up YouTube? I'm back in the garage again. It's bright and early on the Saturday morning and I'll be doing a fender trim on this beautiful second gen Tacoma. So let's get to it. So this fender is all trimmed up. Uh, the uh, front bumper cladding and bumper is always a headache to line up. But once you do it right, man, it looks great. So I still have to put some edge trim on, but compare this to the stock side and just look at how thick and clunky and chunky those factory flares look. Now, going back, nice and trimmed more room for the wheel. So my last video I did was a third gen. Second gens are a completely different beast when it comes to fender trimming. And let me show you how much I take off on this. So for example, that is factory. After the trim, it's all gone. So this truck's already on 35s. Sometimes I get guys that come over here uh, that are on 33s and need to get the trim before so What happens is when you come in with the larger tires already usually clips are broken and uh, There's some damage I have to fix on the flares. So in this case uh, on this driver rear There was about six mounting tabs that hold the clips from the flare to the bumper or sorry to the bedside and uh, I had to plastic weld them so I always keep a little plastic weld on me since I do so many of these trims. I've run into quite a bit of different scenarios. Um, and I also have the blue and orange clips on hand. I just keep a bunch of them. But uh, anyways, the rear is going to be one smooth piece unless it has a high clearance rear, which this one does not. It's got an aftermarket bumper, but it's still standard clearance. So um, I do modify the bracketry to still work and keep the rigidity front and back on the rear flares. Uh, that's one thing I like to do on second gens a lot. And uh, I've also ran into long beds. Uh, they have a third bracket up on top that I have to modify as well so that the bed side is more stable. But with this being a double cap short bed, I didn't run into that today. I'm done, it's hot, I'm dirty from all this cutting, but I'm gonna walk you guys around and check it out anyways. Uh, because I feel like this one came out really good. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll see what it looks like. I'm not quite done this weekend. I got one more truck to do. So this is the following day on Sunday morning and I need to do a fender trim on this one as well. Let's get to it. Just like I did on the second gen, I'm gonna show you the stock flare. And we'll swing over, check out the cut flare. You can see just how much room opened up. And we'll be doing the same to the back.
that is a wrap guys i am done for the weekend i got saturday and sunday about five hours each day and i still need to juggle all my other projects i've got that accord outside i've got the lt 250r right there i've got my wife's ltz 250 i need to fix and of course the fj project which is never ending so stay tuned keep up with the page i'll be posting more as soon as i can